Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Grazi. Today's video is gonna be how to take pictures during quarantine and hopefully it helps some of you guys. I know Instagram isn't a priority for everybody, but I know a lot of you guys are trying to like build up your Instagrams and your profiles and your digital presence while we have all of this time and I don't blame you guys I feel like it's the perfect time to just kind of get out there do you know what I mean to let the world know about you and I really really commend that so I thought I'd give you a couple of tips of how I've been dealing with it and hopefully it will help you get some more quality content I feel like I grew a lot when I was consistent but also making sure my content was 10 out of 10 would recommend content Okay. So this video is five Instagram photo ideas whilst in quarantine. So you can be a productive quarantine queen. Okay. Okay. So a tip for all of these pictures, the key to amazing pictures is lighting, lighting, lighting. If you don't have good lighting, your picture will not bang. If you have a good outfit, good makeup, and the lighting's horrible, the picture won't bang. You can have great aesthetics, great background. If the lighting is not on point, guess what? it's not gonna bang sis so make sure you have great quality lighting lighting is makes such a difference so the first idea that i did um at the beginning of quarantine was a sheet shoot super simple it's to get a sheet a plain white sheet a colored sheet and go outside in the garden and basically drape it over a wall or something try and find something that is um, easy to stick so maybe like a window stick it on there drape it and Bob's your uncle. What I would advise is to take some props to make it look a bit more luxe, a bit more interesting. In mine, I went out on the balcony, I stuck a sheet, just a bed sheet onto the window, and I put some pampas grass, I got a glass of wine, well, I put water in a wine glass because <laughs> I put some lemon in there just to make it look interesting. And, and I got a banging picture, babe. The main thing with this, I'd say, is make sure your outfit is good and make sure your bed sheet is ironed because I had to, I had to smooth the heck out of that sheet in face tune and I wouldn't have needed to if I just ironed it. But these are super popular and it will just keep your feed consistent, especially if you have a clean white feed. This will just help you if you don't have a white background to just get that in a super easy way okay so the next one is simple but effective and that is a mirror selfie i also did this at the beginning of quarantine and it got amazing engagement i didn't do my makeup i just had a plain face and the sun was coming from my window so i thought let me take a selfie and it was amazing so um with the key with this is just make sure you have great lighting and a great aesthetically pleasing background because nobody wants to see your pants nobody wants to see your shoe your hairbrush in the background make sure that the background is clean and presentable also make sure that your outfit is cute as well because that also makes a huge difference initially i had like a gray jumper on but i just thought that wasn't working so i put on nice two-piece loungewear and i think it made a whole load of difference in mirror pictures as well feel free to make your background interesting like for example in this video i've added a plant pot i've added a frame it's, it's a bit more pleasing to the eye than just looking at a plain white background so maybe try and find a plant a plant pot flowers a vase just to make your background a little bit more interesting because we don't have you know restaurants and and buildings that we normally use pre-quarantine so you kind of just have to make your background a little bit interesting so your picture isn't the same old same old practice makes perfect really trial and error and i'm sure you'll get a banging pick also with mirror selfies you can literally be as creative as you want so try and keep it creative maybe do like a little self-care vibe get a towel get a um, bathrobe uh, with like a face mask that's really popular right now or you can do your outfit of the day or you can do your pjs of the day <laughs> next one is a feed or fill a picture i get a lot a lot of inspiration on pinterest and i would really really highly recommend when you click a picture and swipe up you get loads of similar images so you can just pick and choose and make it your own basically so i would highly recommend pinterest because that's where i get a lot of my ideas from so this can be literally anything you want but try and keep it consistent with your brand so basically i i'm like a fashion lifestyle person so i would kind of stick to accessories um a bit of lifestyle maybe a bit of food i saw this picture on it on pinterest and decided to replicate it when i had breakfast the next day and it did pretty well um the more creative you are with it the more likes you'll probably get filler pictures obviously don't get as many likes as maybe your face or, your, or a selfie but i feel like filler pictures are still effective in getting content out there because i have analytics on my page i see that my filler pictures get sent quite a lot um 
quite a lot so that clearly means that people are enjoying them people are sharing them but don't be scared also to use inspiration from pinterest to like repost just make sure you state that it's a repost um let's say like i don't know aesthetic pictures that you might enjoy interior design maybe like holiday destinations makeup candles just try and be creative with it and go with the flow this will just help your feed look clean and especially if you can't always get content of yourself out there feel free to use filler pictures as long as they're good quality content never upload something that you wouldn't double tap yourself just as like a rule of thumb make sure that it's something that you actually really like and would like to see on your timeline if you wouldn't double tap it don't upload it okay girl if your house is small or isn't very aesthetic then the easiest thing to do is just kind of get a bed sheet and that creates like a plain white canvas for you to just be creative with it we put a rose on there put um pampas grass or a flower a plant pot a pair of heels just be creative with it the more creative the better the next one is also super simple but i thought i still have to include this and that is selfies and really utilize them in this season because if especially if you can't get mirrors pictures or whatever just utilize your, your selfies everybody loves a good selfie and um, people follow you obviously for your face so selfies always especially on my feed i find that they do super super well when i do put them out there make sure that they're interesting um if you if you're like a beauty person or like a fashion person make sure your makeup is interesting so this picture it was a selfie but i made sure that i had something interesting for the audience to look at so for example i had green eyeshadow on which is super different to what i normally do and um, my lips were super glossy i had a necklace and with your makeup maybe you can add freckles maybe you can you know try a boy brow maybe you can just switch up your hairstyles we have a, a little bit more time to be creative with it so just use this time to your advantage and make sure your makeup is good as well like it's all good face tuning but if your makeup isn't good to start with then it's just it's gonna look too fake when you face tune because you're gonna have a lot more to face tune so i would say make sure that your face your makeup is looking nice already also utilize no makeup selfies this is super relatable because obviously a lot of people are not wearing makeup so feel free to be yourself to come on their bare face and people will actually be really um appreciate it i believe and i put my no makeup mirror selfie on everyone was loving it and it got a huge amount of reshares so i would definitely recommend doing that just try and be creative the main thing is to be creative and to switch it up instagram is quite fickle so if you're not being creative with the with your page then people will probably just lose interest so just try and continuously be creative and just try and do the best that you can don't beat yourself up and don't compare yourself to other instagrammers who live in mansions or whatever just do the best with what you have look online look on pinterest for inspo and you won't go wrong i think editing also plays a really really big impact on this with your editing try and keep the same filter so, so on vs go cam that's the app that i use to edit my pictures I, I have like a specific filter that i use and then i save it so for every picture that i have i i click my specific filter and i just tweak it a little bit here and there that just makes my feed consistent because every picture is kind of kind of has this, a similar filter so my feed kind of has like a theme so that even when you are trying new ideas the the theme of your overall page kind of still looks similar Another tip that I would give when taking Instagram pictures is I play music in the background when I'm taking photos. Um, I just find that it gets me into the vibe, into the zone, rather than just taking pictures in dead silence, that's dead boring. So I would do a little playlist, songs that you really, really like and that get you hyped. And I would play that while I'm taking pictures and then that would just get your creative juices flowing. Just like when you're at the gym or when you're, I don't know, cooking, I always play music. So and I just feel like that gets me in the zone. So that's pretty much the same with Instagram pictures. I put music on, vibe out, and I also, I play different music for different looks. So if, I'm, if I've got like a, a classy, girly look, I would play like that kind of music to get me into that, that kind of zone. Um, whereas if I have to be like, I play like upbeat music. But also just remember, the more energy you put into it, the more outcome you'll get out of it. So if you only put 20% of energy, if you're only blase about it, you have an unironed top, your outfit doesn't match up, your outfit doesn't make sense, your makeup looks done out, then that's the energy you'll get from your audience. But if you put in 100% effort, then your audience will appreciate it and that's the best way to grow. Yeah, and also try and have creative captions because that always gets more likes. Whenever I have creative captions, the picture always seems to do a little bit better than when I just 
don't try or when I upload my picture last minute and don't think about the caption. Oh, I nearly forgot. So a huge tip is to plan your feed. I have an app called Preview and it basically allows me to plan out my feed before I upload it, before I upload my pictures to see how they'll kind of work out. So I have about three or four pictures in advance and I just kind of move them around to see what works best for my feed because obviously new audiences look at your feed first before individual pictures. So I would definitely recommend planning out your feed beforehand just so the feed matches up and correlates and, and just looks pretty and clean. Also in planning out your feed, try and look on Pinterest. Again, with Pinterest, I love Pinterest. Um, try and look on Pinterest for inspiration and create like a mood board. This kind of gets your creative juices flowing and gives you ideas and it kind of helps you to, one day you might look like a skater rock chick and the next day you'll look high fashion and it doesn't really correlate because your audiences will be confused. So if you have a mood board of the kind of vibe you're going for, this just helps you to have a clear mind of what kind of pictures you're gonna take and and it'll just help execute your content way, way, way better. So I'd highly, highly recommend you downloading Pinterest. I search for things like aesthetic fashion picture or aesthetic blazer photo or like aesthetic interior design and things like that. And as soon as you click a picture, there's a whole load of pictures that are very similar. So then you can save that onto a mood board and Bob's your uncle. Before you know it, you have an amazing aesthetically pleasing mood board which will replicate onto your feed i hope those tips helped you good luck write down your ads below and i'm gonna check some of them out and yeah let's just kind of support each other out here in these streets okay so yeah those are all the tips i can think of really if you have any more questions i know everyone's uh, everyone's gonna ask me about how i edit my pictures i'll probably upload that soon if you guys want to see that then subscribe like comment i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.